Would it be possible, you know, potentially to do that? Or we can go up and see if we can get through here. You just point and I turn. Cool. <laughs> One of the most daunting parts of doing this kind of base camp on foot AK trips is picking a zone. There's really no boundaries, so to go and figure out where you're gonna spend a month of your life trying to snowboard these mountains is really tricky. I definitely will spend some time on Google Earth, but really uh, visual is, is the key to it all because you need to be able to see how broken the crevasses are, how big the cornices are, uh, and that stuff you can't find on Google Earth. What's your thing? It's super sick, but it's super it's gnarly. gnarly. It's too gnarly. It's too much to wrap. Yeah. This is a line we actually rode called the West Wall. And up in here, this is like ideal scenario. There's no cornices up here, but this fir run is really dangerous, meaning this is full secondary exposure. These are huge. Thankfully, we got a really good handle on the snowpack and we're very comfortable with the Abbey scenario. You see Lucas Dabari jumps the smallest part of this thing and it's like a 40 foot air. <laughs> nice work, Lucas. That was sick. This is a line that I spent a long time looking at. And I love this all up in here, um, but there's too much Seracs. These are Seracs up in here. And, and I personally don't walk under Seracs. There's no rhyme or reason when those are going to fall. They fall in the middle of the night when it's cold. They fall when it's sunny. They um, and when they fall, it's common for them to start avalanches and Serac fall kills a lot of people in the mountains. Not quite clean enough for my taste. Every one of these trips I've done on foot, all the time I've spent hiking mountains over the last five years. So, I mean, there's no question I learn something every day and every trip. So um, that's really been my mentality my whole life is just constantly moving, evolving, going deeper, going further, going higher. <laughs>